Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope everyone is doing well. In today's video we are playing some more ranked, except this time I switched up the playstyle a little bit because I wanted to show you guys how you can win more games. Whenever I upload a video, it's very aggressive, I try to play for the, the most amount of kills basically, ranked or pubs, it doesn't matter. I just, I like to play very aggro on teams, put myself at a disadvantage and try to come out on top because it makes for interesting content. But ultimately, it does cost me a lot of games and I feel like a lot of people are watching these videos and they're like, oh well... Uh, I'm gonna try playing like this and I'm gonna win more games. That's not how you win more games and that's what this video is I'm gonna give you guys some examples at the beginning just talking about it And then I've got two gameplays for you uh, so you can have a visual example as well So hopefully you learn a thing or two. Uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it So first and foremost, we're gonna talk about the meta that is very important especially at the highest levels uh, Right at the character select screen You are going to want to play meta defining characters because if you are playing against players of your skill level You don't want to put yourself at a disadvantage Advantage. Uh, when you and your teammates are assembling a team, your team wants to work together. You don't want to play a character like Mirage, because Mirage doesn't bring any value to yourself or your teammates in comparison to, say, Bangalore or Wraith. When you're choosing your characters, you want to say, hmm, what makes more sense here? If I play Bangalore, uh, does she bring more value than Mirage? You know, and the answer is yes. So you're going to want to play characters that are meta defining. I know it sounds kind of boring sometimes and you can make other characters work, especially in the lower ranks. You can definitely do that. But the higher you get, the harder it's going to be for you. So if you're trying to climb and win games, play the meta. And that also goes for weapons as well. Now, ultimately, you want to use what you're more comfortable with when it comes to weapons because every weapon has a unique uh, recoil. So if you're used to controlling the recoil on, say, a 301 and you're not used to it on a 99, then use the 301, man. Absolutely. Use whatever you're more comfortable with. But you do need to know what the meta is because other players in the lobby are going to be running the meta even if you're not. And it's going to change your play style throughout the game. For example, if you have a team with G7 scouts that are on top of a hill shooting down on you and you're running a flatline and a peacekeeper, you're at a disadvantage big time. But if you know that going in, then you could rotate differently, you can play a different angle uh, because you, you're, you're expecting teams to be using a G7 scout, right? Uh, your play style will change based on the meta. It doesn't matter if you're using the guns yourself or not your playstyle can change to adapt to it now I guess I should mention that uh, the weapon meta changes very frequently with most games at least we've had a little dry spell with uh, with updates as of recently with apex but we've seen different metas we've seen the wingman meta the longbow meta uh, the peacekeeper meta as of recently <laughs> it was absolutely ridiculous and right now I would say the g7 is meta so it's something that you want to keep on top of um, guys that make uh, update videos based on patches guys like Seth Lee he makes awesome videos I like to watch his videos to keep up with uh, different changes and different updates and patches uh, so keep up with stuff like that and keep yourself in the loop to make sure that you don't fall behind now enough with the meta stuff let's talk about some gameplay you're in the ship you're about to jump down you've assembled a team and you're trying to figure out where you're gonna land what you want to do is you want to land somewhere that is uncontested one of the worst things that I see people do is they'll contest a landing spot with a bunch of teams and they'll try to 50 50 fights based off of RNG now what I mean by that is let's say you and an enemy player land on one bin each right and you open your bin and you don't get a gun and he opens his and he gets a gun well you're probably gonna die like right then and there you're probably done skis so you want to land somewhere where you're not gonna 50 50 fights and you're not relying on RNG you want to land somewhere alone you want to get loot and you want to get kitted because you want to keep yourself on a level playing field once again I'm gonna go back to this never put yourself at a disadvantage ever never risk it never put yourself at a disadvantage because if you put yourself at a disadvantage or you rely on RNG then you're just you're calling to lose games that's that's just the, the basis around it so find a spot on the map where you're not gonna be contested land there and loot on your own on your way down pay attention to what's around you you can use L2 on your controller and you can look around as you're falling down and you can watch where other teams are landing if you notice that there's somebody not landing beside you you can loot your area and rotate into that area you know there's different ways of doing it everything is situational but the basis is to be on your own and get kitted before you get into a fight so you've got your loot, you're ready to rotate, whether you're in the circle or you're outside of the circle, it doesn't matter. You need to get inside a spot in the circle that you think the end game circle is going to end. Now this is the hardest part of the whole thing. 
Positioning is everything in Apex Legends, especially in the end game. Usually the team with the better positioning is going to win the games. And this is the hardest thing to learn because the circle is very sporadic. It can go to the left, it can pull to the right, and it's always changing. So what you need to do is you need to start taking mental notes of where the end game circles are going to be. And you need to try to get there before any other team does. Because if you have the positional advantage, then chances are you're going to win the games. And this is the, like I said, this is the hardest part, but there's things that you can do that'll help Help you out you can use characters like pathfinder pathfinder can uh can scan the the beacons and it'll tell you where on the circle you need to go you can use this to your advantage you can use this the same beacon multiple times it doesn't matter how many times you use the same beacon uh, as long as you're using it as each ring closes uh, like i said get to the spot where you need to get to it's always situational the circle's always changing it's just something that you need to take a mental note of and you just need to get there now let's talk about fights because on your way of rotating, whether it be first circle, second circle, third circle, you're going to run into teams and you're probably going to have to fight at some point. Now, ultimately, the end goal of the game is to win. And the least amount of fighting that you do throughout the game, the higher the chances of you winning. You know, you don't want to take any unnecessary fights. You want to save your resources as best you can. You want all of your teammates to be standing. And the best way to do that is to not fight. Now, that's not saying that you shouldn't fight because there is a lot of it's like a high risk high reward type thing if there's an opportunity for you to take a fight that you think you can win if there's a third party available and you want to just get in there then absolutely because if you're wiping teams that means you're getting their loot you're getting their ammo you're getting their help their heals you're getting their attachments you're getting everything and that's something that could benefit you in the long run so it's something that you might want to think about take your fights if you can win it but if it's kind of, eh, you may want to hold off. Another thing that you got to be wary about is the sound of gunshots in this game are insanely loud. So if you hear a team fighting and you go to third party it, chances are a different team heard you shooting and they're going to come third party you. So always expect a third party. Never sit there and loot too much. Now here's another thing that I want to talk to you about is looting. If you think that you're going to get pushed by another team or you are getting pushed by another team, prioritize ammo and heals. That is number one priority, ammo and heals. You don't need attachments to win fights. You need ammo and heals to win fights. So if you're st sitting there looting in a box for way too long, I mean, you're putting yourself at risk. So if you gotta sit there and loot a body, make sure you're looting ammo and heals. I can't stress that enough. That is very, very important. Now this is the last thing that I want to touch on and this is a huge one. I know it sounds very generic, but I need you to be honest with yourself. If you're listening to this and this applies to you, then you really need to listen up. Uh, confidence is huge there's so many times where i've had teammates and it's like yo this is a winnable fight we just got to get in there we got to get in there and there's people that hesitate they'll they'll backpedal and they'll be they'll be worried about losing or dying or whatever they're scared to take 1v1s even though the 1v1 is very winnable and it's like you, you got to be confident that you're going to win these fights you have to get in there you have you can't hesitate you need to handle your business so be confident that is ginormous now if you do happen to lose some games which you will everybody loses all the time don't start pointing the fingers at your teammates don't start pointing the fingers at other things around you you know sit back and focus on what you could have improved on to make that a better experience for yourself don't I, that's one thing that drives me nuts is when people blame their teammates all the time and it's the craziest thing because it's like Ultimately, you could have always done something differently to have a positive impact on that game. No matter what it is, you could have played it differently somehow, some way, and you need to take a mental note. You need to think back, what could I have done differently that, that could have changed this outcome? And you need to remember that going forward. So learn from your mistakes, learn from other people's mistakes, and improve. At the end of the day, man, listen, y'all trying to have fun, and it's just a game. It's just ranked. It's not crazy competitive. It is, I guess. It's ranked, but it's not like uh, a pro league or anything like that. So there's always room for improvement you can always learn but don't beat your don't beat yourself up over it man don't beat yourself up over it uh, just have fun with the game and uh, that's all i've really got to say i'm gonna play out a full game where we play exactly like i just said and i hope you guys learned something uh, i know just hearing somebody talk about it with gameplay in the background is kind of difficult to really understand so like i said i wanted to attach another game where we actually played like this so you could get a visual representation of it so with that said thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bcc we did have a team here Two times? Okay. 
Optics here. Oh, oh, bad guy. Roof. Directly in front of us. Andrew. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Back it up. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. I'm watching Joe. I'm watching Joe right now. I'm watching Joe. What up, Roof Crash? Got him, got him, got him, got him. Enemy taken down. Giving my shields a recharge. Pat, Pat, almost no shield. I'm 60 blue. No shield. Oh, there you flash. And then, uh. Pat is literally one. He's up top. Okay. She's gonna jump off. I'll be here before. Alright. She did jump off, yeah. Good place, chicken. We gotta clean this up. We're gonna get pushed by those guys from Sniper Tower. Is he dead? Is he back there? up right here. Yeah, there he is. He's cracked. One health, got him. His teammate must have self-res. I'm on his teammate. The 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 blood or the pathfinder has self-res. Good. No way. Yeah. All right. Did well, he get it off? Nah, I killed. That's one dead boy. I thought that sniper team was fighting somebody else's skyhook. Y'all see any energy mags? I have a purple heart devotion. Oh, bro! I let I pinged a purple one like off rip. Yeah. Uh, I'm lucky. Yeah, you grab, bro. You grab, you, uh... you grab the armor that it was on too. <laughs> it was in the same bin that you walked and grabbed that white armor. Yeah, no, I, I just picked it up from this guy's dead body. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Did the guys have any heavy ammo? I don't know. We want to go through this. Yeah, 100%. We hit this balloon right now. Yep. Oh. Uh, that's a good player over there. Yeah. How are we gonna? How we wanna approach this? Just try to okay. land on the building off to the right. Okay. Balloon, like try to land on top of that building. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, just hug this right wall. Bro, that was sick. To me? With you. Right, right there, in front of you, in front of you, on the ground. Yeah, yeah I see him. Got him. Path is one. Path is one. Path is one. Octane, nice. Octane. Yeah, yeah. Gotta push that. Hundred percent, we push that. That's my. That's my arc. Reloading. More enemies down. He's healing back here. He's healing. He's healing. He's healing. He's here. Cracked. One shot. One, one shot. shot. Reloading. Yeah, perp. I'll take okay. it. Good Whatever. third, boys. Let's go. Double tap hurt. Yeah, I see nothing now going down. I was like, oh, too bad in here. Thanks, bud. I have three already, so I'm good with that. Any other perps, or was that it? I think it was only the two. Alright. I'm gonna go loot. I have M on and uh, N gym. They're, bro, I, they were like fighting somebody back there, were they not? They just, I think they finished, killed them. They were just getting the reses. <laughs> Alright. I'm just waiting up here for you guys. Make yeah, sure we don't I'm get kept. I'm gonna lose some of this really fast. Yeah, I don't see other dead bodies. Yeah, what, uh, if you, like, yeah. what if you like actually never done that and they're just like trying to frame them? Up top, did we bro, do we do have a team right here. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm not peeking it. Huh? No. I'm not peeking it. Uh, no, no. No, 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 no. They're just watching me already. Want, I'm not gonna run that pack. Oh, someone's on the pack. Where? Oh, they up top too, I dude. Any shots, bro? I don't have enough. I don't even have enough ammo to fight this anyway. Oh, somebody's. Yeah, let's see where circle goes and we'll play accordingly. Yeah. You guys are weird. Okay. That's well. kind of tough. Let's rotate oh, this way. Let's explore this yeah. way. I think it's gonna be another uh, vault circle. Go ahead, these Kraber shots. He has a Kraber? I'm pretty sure that was a Kraber that shot at me. It could probably was one of those Anvil R301s. Uh. Just, same thing, really, right? <laughs> was that what it sounded like right there? Nah, it was in the beginning when Jenk said he's gonna back up. 
I'm not peeking that. One dropped down just now. Does it give you? Frick you. Hmm. I hear him on the zip. He's on the, he's on the rope. 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 Let's oh, go. Nice. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. Go, go for it. He's dropping down. Thirst in it. Get your thirst. There's one up top. I hear him. 136 on this bang up here. Right here. This building. Okay. And nobody has like any ammo, huh? Look out. Oh, he burned himself. Oh, no, that's you. No, that's me. I'm hitting him with it. He's really hurt. Really hurt. Really oh, there's hurt. Another, there's another zip line. Died. He got him. He's burning. Holy. Yeah. That was a good thermie. He had perk. That was, a, that was a good thermie. I'm going to go for it. I got a. I see a zip line over here. I'm going to take it. Maybe. 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 Making contact with enemy. I got you. He's running. He's out. Five squads left. Okay. Wait, did this guy drop? Okay, he didn't drop. He's getting thirded. He's getting thirded. I'm hitting okay. the third party. You focus, focus the Gibraltar. I got the third. Don't worry. Give me the money. I got it. Yeah, he's, he's around that corner, dude. There's an, there's an Octane way up here, Ratchet. It. On my ping. I need it. Yes, he has ammo. Cracked Octane on my ping. Here. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, he pushed forward a little bit. Not quite with you there, boys. It's good, we win. Nice. Oh, was that just a solo? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then the other team's gonna be... Oh, hey, it's the same circle. Sick. Nice. Good plays, good plays. Take high ground again? I mean, yeah, we can. Anvil again. Beautiful. It is. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of booty. Hey, I heard some gunfire. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta try to third. That's the last two teams. Yeah, we gotta go now. This is uh, familiar. Yeah, literally same as last game, isn't it? Or the game before? Yeah, literally. Even though the circle moved a little, but it's still, yeah. Oh yeah, dude. There's no way they can. There's no. There's no way they can go. Wraith, 118. Save some of your throwables. No, 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 no. Save some of your throwables for the other team inside. Okay. I'm cracking them. Hold on, don't, 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 don't push too far. They're inside, they're inside. Got the caustic? Just stay nice. back. We gatekeep hard. Yeah, we gatekeep. They can't go, they can't go through save the Save your throwables. Yeah, they, all, they all gotta come through here. Yep. Yeah, save your throwables. Wraith on flash. Path, 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 left, immediately. Just, yeah. Got the path? Oh, he's super one. Nice, he's let's down. go. Path down. I'm getting a thermite at the door of the vault so they can't get out. I'm grabbing in on him. Oh, yo, yeah, right. Oh. 98 on him. Out. Huge. Let's go. Yeah. All right, dude, the win streak is alive. Another <laughs> oh, one. Yeah. Another one. Chick is gonna be pred in literally <laughs> in like a, a day. <laughs> like what? We're playing smart, boys. We're playing smart. Uh, I didn't actually record any of that. Oh, sweet. That I was did. a good game. Oh, there we are. Boom. Okay, sweet. <laughs> good job, boys.